In Blender 4.1 and earlier, all the way back to Blender 2.8, you used to be able to set up an emission like we've got on these spikes here. And then whilst you're in the viewport rendered option using Eevee, you could just turn on bloom. And if you were using cycles, you'd have to use a different technique. However, as of Blender 4.2, these two techniques have been combined. Unfortunately, it's not just a tick box like we have here. So I'm gonna show you how to sort that out. So let's go over to Blender 4.2, exactly the same scene. These spikes are set up as a geometry node setup. We won't go into the details there, but the important thing is they have a material that is emissive. That's quite a high strength. I'm gonna turn that down, maybe something like six. Okay, so how do we do the bloom? Well, bloom is now part of the compositing setup. So we've got our compositing tab at the top here. We will be diving into that in a moment. Uh, but before we do that, let's turn our viewport shading to rendered. That's important. And next to that is a little drop down, which we do want to go to the compositor setting and either enable camera, if you're just looking through the camera, or we can turn on always. Then we'll be able to see what's going on. Let's go to the compositing setup. And I'm gonna add an extra window here so we can see what's happening in the 3D viewport. So we've got our objects just here. And again, I'm gonna to have to press, in this case, Z and go to rendered. I'm gonna to have to scroll along anyway, because it's a small window and make sure this is set to always. Now over in the compositor, what you need to do is make sure at the top here, you click on use nodes. This will add in render layers and it will add in the composite at the very end. Now we can't see anything that's going on at the moment. We need to add a node in here. So I'm gonna to go to add, or you can press shift and A. And we need to find the glare node, which is part of filters. So we go to filter, glare, or you can search for glare in there. Now, before you click, if you hover over the noodle between the render layers and the composite node, we can just click and it will drop in. Now that's not quite the look that I was going for, but that is a look, but we can change streaks now to a new setting called bloom. Now this is gonna be quite a bit brighter in general than the old setting used to be. So I found that turning the mix down uh, maybe to about minus 0.9 or so roughly is equivalent to the older version. And there we go, that's how you set up Bloom and it will work both in Eevee and Cycles. You don't have to do any extra changes. Now, when it comes to doing this, if you want to add this automatically, I've actually written an add-on and I will link both the video for that add-on and the add-on itself down in the description. So check that out if you want this to be super easy, just like it used to be. That's it for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.